Hey, it's Brickzar. And today we're going to look at one of the Toy Story 3 Lego sets. Toy Story 3, of course, the Disney movie, Disney Pixar. And this is one of the sets based on a scene from the movie. It's the Western Train Chase, a 584-piece set, set 7597. And this is a really cool set. For this theme it makes this train it has some really good parts in it and you get six good minifigures so we're going to look at everything in detail and i'm going to tell you what i think about this set all right we'll start with the minifigures and the first being woody now woody is the main character from the first movie along with buzz lightyear but woody is a neat minifigure him and Jesse both because of the long legs. I wish they made some more minifigures or there was more of a variety. Uh, I do wish that they had the um, knees that moved. Uh, it seems like with a longer leg like this they could have made knees, knees that moved but that's the cool thing about this minifigure is the, uh, the long legs got side printing too on the legs which is unusual because you got his boots. A lot of times there's not a defined shoe <laughs> on the minifigure legs but this one has it so and he's got the uh, molded head not typical of lego minifigures but all the uh, minifigures in this theme are like this all right and now we got jesse who again like woody has longer limbs i think the yeah even the arms are longer wait a minute that's where i needed to get longer limbs is from these minifigures. I've been looking for longer limbs. I wonder if they're similar to the basketball ones. Oh well, I'm not worried about it right now. But I believe her hair is built into, oh yeah, her head's all one piece. So that's all you can do with that. Can't take her head off. It's a molded head. All right, next up is Woody. Let me get a little closer. I had to back up for those tall minifigures like Woody and Jesse. Buzz is not quite tall, that tall. He looks like a little kid compared to Woody and Jesse. But it's a very cool minifigure. His head does separate. We can put on his um, his wing and his helmet. I don't think this... Yeah, his helmet don't... Uh, there we go. Uh-oh. I can break his helmet. <laughs> it just snaps in like so. That is Buzz. All right, and here is Ham. Ham is the piggy bank dude. Also Cliff Clavin from Cheers. He's got the slot to put the money in, and he even has the little piece on the bottom to pull, to open, to get the money out. So, pretty good minifigure, Ham. All right, now here's Rex. I'm not sure if I should have called him a minifigure or not. I call him a minifigure. And I call Rex a minifigure. He's the dinosaur. His feet fit nicely in between the studs there so you can attach him to a plate. His tail does detach. He's got the little T-Rex arms. But that is Rex. And of course here we have Bullseye the horse. He's got a much cooler saddle than the other Lego sets have. I really like this saddle. It's more detailed. It's got the cactus on there. You do have the brick here that you can take out when you want to put Jesse or Woody on the horse. But um, Bullseye, cool horse. One of the better Lego horses, even though he looks like a... He's kind of toyish. <laughs> it is Toy Story. <laughs> but um, I think it's a, a really good horse. And the name Bullseye... It reminds me of the the guy he uh, currently, I guess he announces for the New York Yankees. His name's John Sterling. Those of you in New York, you know, I know you know who I'm talking about. Um, Y'all took him off our hands several years ago. He used to announce the Atlanta Hawks game. Uh, games. Uh, it's been 30 years ago now, but every time somebody would make a, a, a jumper or a three-pointer, it would be like, boom! Bullseye! That's what he'd always say. So that's the first thing I thought of when I 
saw this character bullseye brought back those memories of that yeah maybe it's not a good memory all right now we'll look at the train the train is super cool now again it's not like authentic exactly to real real trains there are though there are features that are and it is got a lot of good parts for building trains and the locomotive is my favorite part of this set it very closely resembles a 440, which is a locomotive that was very common in Western times when railroads were expanding. And around here, although I don't live in the West, uh, we had the famous General and the Texas, two locomotives that were involved in that Civil War chase. And this is what, this is the type of locomotive they were, a 440. Got four little wheels in the front that are just for guidance, and then you're drive wheels there. It's interesting with this set, uh, the wheels come in a little pack, so you actually get the center wheels. These would be kind of like dummy wheels if you were building like a 460, which is what the uh, train from the Lone Ranger train is. But this is a 440, so you, you end up, these end up being extra. You get two of them, they're extra. But the locomotive is really cool. Got the cow, cow catcher. You got the smokestack, you got the, the bell and everything. It, it's rounded. You got now there is normally where the um, I think the drive rods would go. You don't get any drive rods. That's probably the one detail that is lacking. Now you didn't get drive rods with the Long Ranger train either. Now that's what you can't really make the train go without the drive rods. But anyway, we don't have them. So we'll take it off of here and look at the inside. You got your furnace for your boiler. All this, another thing is the pieces on here, I think they're all printed. Yeah, all this, the, the decorated pieces are printed, which is cool. And they, you put little um, rubber bands, they give you little rubber bands to put on the wheels um, for that. But this is a pretty cool locomotive. I like it. So we'll move it out of the way and go to the next car, which is some kind of baggage car. This one has some playability features to it. The doors do open. Uh oh, my dynamite got knocked over. Be careful with the dynamite. <laughs> now you get this little crate with dynamite in it. But this piece on the top, you pull it out and you it drop. You got like a trap door there. So that's your playability with that. I don't know if it's good or bad. I guess the the downfall, now I like these pieces not being stickers, but if you're buying these for the parts and you really don't want the sticker on there, well, you're stuck. Because that's always, the door's going to have that dollar sign on it forever. But you do get one door that's blank on each side and one that has the dollar sign. So that's your little baggage type car. Then we have our Western train car. It has the Great West. Again, these are 2 by 4 tiles that are printed, I do believe. I keep saying that. It's been so long. It's been three years since I looked at this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's printed. Now, these windows are a little different than some of the train windows. you got your log bricks there. The roof comes off easily. There's no nothing in there at all. Doors open inward, so there's no seats or anything. It's just an open car. That's okay. And then the next one is, of course, the little red caboose. And it's pretty neat. It's got the train number on it. Nothing on the interior, although you can take the roof off so you can put your characters in there. It's got the little brake wheel here on the, on the end rail. So overall, the cars are pretty basic and plain locomotive is really cool and you got some cool figures so that's the complete set you get the locomotive the three cars the minifigures a few extra parts you got two instruction manuals one is just building the locomotive the other is for the other minifigures and the three cars but what is missing in this set what do you not have? You don't have any track. Now I got some track laid out here on my table. This is actually the track from the Lone Ranger train. 
I got it set here. And another thing you don't get is a motor to make the train go. So let me put the train on the track. All right, here's the train on the track. So you could get some track and the kid could push it along the track. This actually doesn't roll that well. You know, the way these Technic pins are, it just has a lot of friction, it appears. I'm not sure if that's something I did when I was building it. If it's having the rubber bands on it but yeah it doesn't roll it's got a lot of it moves but it doesn't roll real well so that's what it looks like on the track I'll show you the whole thing so it does fit on regular power functions type track now i'll show you what it looks like compared to the long ranger constitution express this is the constitution train this one is a really cool locomotive. I think, I think this one's a better locomotive than the Toy Story train, but again, the Toy Story train is based off a cartoon, so it's not really based off a real train. But um, both, get, both of these, you get cool parts with them, so that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing is, you know, the Constitution train, it has a coal car. Um, you either needed coal or wood. Now, a lot of the real old trains, they would have wood. You don't get that with this. But then again, I'm talking about a toy. It's a toy. It doesn't have to be functionally correct. <laughs> again, it's got these characters in it. Toys don't talk. So I don't need to worry that it doesn't have a wood, a, a, a car to carry the wood. Or the coal. I can't worry about that. Although I am worried about it. But yeah, toys don't talk. Trains need wood to burn or coal. But no big deal. It's a toy. It's a good set. By keeping the motor out of the set, keeping the train track out of the set, it kept the retail price. So these were easy to pick up. Uh, I want to say the retail price was like $90, but they were on clearance for a long time. But it's obviously no longer produced, but it's still one that hasn't raised up too terribly high in value, so you can actually still pick these up at a decent price because it doesn't have the track or the motor. If it had the motor and the track, it'd probably be a more expensive set. I anticipate the Constitution Express, the Lone Ranger train, that one will probably very quickly be worth more than this one. So anyway, just wanted to show you that, the Toy Story Great Western Chase train set, set 7597. It's from 2010. Thanks for watching. Spritzar.